everybody. We're back. It's all good. Amy Poehler is going to be out here in uh, just a couple of minutes. But first, uh, let me explain what happened. Just about this last month, about five weeks ago, uh, someone brought me the March issue of uh, Good Housekeeping magazine. I missed March. I usually... It's the only one I've ever not read. And, uh, and they showed me this for a reason. They said, check out the celebrity recipe. And I've talked about this on the show. But look at this. It was in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Conan O'Brien's St. Patrick's Day stew right there. And I thought, you know, for a second, I thought, oh, that's great. Then I realized, wait a minute. I don't cook. I've, I've never uh, had a recipe in my life. I've never made stew in my life. This is not my recipe. They clearly were just stuck on St. Patrick's Day. They needed some Irish face to put in the magazine. And they said, Conan O'Brien must like a nice stew. <laughs> Put a little Guinness in it. A little, a little lucky charms in that stool. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, so I sort of uh, talked about it a little on the air. And the uh, good housekeeping people, they, uh, they were great. They, they called me up. They said, we're sorry. It was just, uh, just a mistake. Uh, their editor-in-chief, Rosemary Ellis, even came on the show to explain what happened. And afterwards, uh, she invited me to visit the famous Good Housekeeping Research Institute. So I decided I got to go because no one ever invites me anywhere. <laughs> so I paid a visit uh, just a couple of days ago, and here's what happened. I'm here at the Good Housekeeping Laboratory in uh, Midtown Manhattan. This is Rosemary Ellis, the editor-in-chief of Good Housekeeping Magazine. Thanks so much for having Welcome me. Welcome to the Research Institute. These labs are very futuristic, I've noticed. They are. It yeah. is like you've entered a new society, and I notice mostly women uh, and uh, men, who I'm guessing are eunuchs. What's the story here? <laughs> I, was asked well, to, I was asked to surrender my genitals when I yeah. enter. Do we get them back when we leave? If you're nice. Okay. I'm not using them. <laughs> this is Health, Beauty, and Environmental Sciences. Health, Beauty, and Environmental Sciences. Right. I'm disappointed this door wasn't electric, you know? Oh. It would have been cooler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lab coat with my name. Very nice. Oh. Sleeves are a little short. Look at that, everybody. Oh, you know. I don't think the good housekeeping lab coat gets the good housekeeping seal. Uh, your name is? Charmaine Gillespie. Charmaine Gillespie. Yes. Yes. Tell us what this machine does. It's our Vizia complexion analyzer. So I'm just going to put some information in. Do you need information from me? I can tell you things. I'm an Aries. Okay. I'm technically still a virgin. Okay. <laughs> My father okay. and I are, well, we're distant with each other. I think I killed a guy in about 1988. <laughs> I hit him with my car and I kept driving. I panicked. You're all done. Right. So we just all right. took the picture and now we're going to look at the results. Da! Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God! And these what are, is it? what is that? These are actually UV spots on your skin on the right side of your face. It looks like I saved my platoon <laughs> by placing my face over a grenade. Look at that! It's not so bad. It's just uh, just the way the picture looks. But... Do you find that guy attractive? Be honest. Let's say I went on Match.com and that's the photo I put up. I see you have the Fondler 9000 here. This this fondles things. So this machine tears underwear. Tears underwear, tears fabrics. This is simulating me in a state of high arousal. Look at that. We're testing lunch boxes to make sure that when you pack your kids' lunches, mm -hmm. they stay within the proper temperature. Do you ever test how well these uh, lunch boxes protect the integrity of the food itself from damage? Would you like me to test the Hannah Montana for you right now? Sure, if you want to. Pretty well. That's a good lunchbox. So I take my lunch to school. My hand is broken. Nice. Not as nice. This guy can't handle it. Let's see if this guy can.
I like that. Okay. That's good. This is Todd. Uh, you test some of the products for durability, breakability, is that right? Yep, and we also see which ones our consumers like. Right now we're testing shower radios or news. Look at that. All you, go. This is oh my my God. <laughs> it's going to be good for TV. Uh, what is this machine right here? So this is our drop tester. This is a child's cell phone, and we're going to test if it dropped. Is that right? What right. would happen to it? Care to do the honors? Yes, I would. So, just pick it up, check it out, make sure it still works, make sure no pieces fell off. So no that... pieces fell off, it still works. This is uh, the Howie Mandel bobblehead, <laughs> sold by NBC. Deal. Oh. Deal or no deal. I guess that it would works. be. I guess that would be no deal. <laughs> What's, uh, what's happening in this room? This is an environmental chamber. We can set any temperature and any humidity that we want. Okay, what have you, what have you got it on now? 90-90. This See? is, you've got it on 90-90? Yep. Can a human survive in 90 degree weather at 90% humidity? You wanna try it out? That was terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. I think yeah. that you may need some of the anti-frizz product that we're testing right now. Nonsense. I wasn't affected at all by your chamber. Better luck next time. Come Thank back you. soon. I will. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. At the Good Housekeeping Labs, this is Conan O'Brien saying this is Conan O'Brien at the Good Housekeeping Labs. Oh, nice. We'll take a break. We come back. Amy Poehler's here. We'll see you in a minute.